Hello and welcome to another tutorial. So welcome to my test world. It's sort of all these, there's the milking machine and all that stuff that I'm trying to uh, try out before I use it in my playthrough. And um, are you angry at me? Ow. Oh god, this is annoying. <laughs> Get away. Get away. Get away. <laughs> no. Right, so, <laughs> um, yeah, good tutorial, isn't it? So this episode we're going to have a look at solar panels and how to make them, how to upgrade them, how to make solar arrays, what kind of power you need for them all. Um, so that's sort of what we're going to do. And I'm just going to put it on creative for a sec. So this is uh, quite annoying, you know? Uh, I should say very annoying, but hey. So the first thing you're going to need is some circuits and we've gone over this before of how to make these so it's six copper cables some refined iron and two redstones uh, copper cables are made with rubber and some copper so that's the first thing you need apart from that you need some glass uh, you need a power sort of saving device um, which I have an MFSU here but you can use a bat box or anything um, depending on the type of solar panel you want to make, and I'll explain that. You need some generators, which we have made before as well, and uh, this is the cheapest way to make them. It's um, some RE batteries, which is some tin. Can't click on it, okay. Anyway, so it's some tin on the sides here, and then a cable at the top and some redstone in the middle. Some uh, glass fiber cable, but you can use copper cable, depending on, again, the type of solar array you want to make. And some coal dust, which is this macerated coal. And that's pretty much all you need. So to start off, we're going to make... Let's make eight. And th yeah, these are quite expensive and they're quite a, a pain to make. So you can set up an automated process for that. Um, but, you know, for now we'll do it like that. Now I always forget on which side. Okay, so the coal... So it's coal dust, glass under it, and then just alternate it like that. And that makes you a solar panel. So now we have eight of those. Now these solar panels, you just plonk down very easily and you can get power from any side. I usually get it from the bottom because it looks better. Um, but you can get power from any side, doesn't matter. So let's get some dirt shell. Oops. Plonk down some dirt in there. Get out. Um, so how do you hook it up very easily? Why am I? You just plonk down your MFSU, for example. Oh, I'm going to die if I don't do a creative one. <laughs> so this is my MFSU. You, you can do anything with it. You can use a bat box as well. So that's it. Done. It's getting power. Now, solar panels are ridiculously slow in getting power uh, at start. So you need a lot of them. So we still have eight in our inventory. So the next thing you want to do is upgrade these. Now for some high-end power stuff, you're probably going to need, oh, I don't know, five, six hundred of these. So you can imagine the, the mess that makes. Get out. Um, so that's why there's a mod, and that's standardly included in Ticket, um, which is for the solar array. So the solar array is eight solar panels like that. And then a LV transformer in the middle. And I'll show you how to make that. That's very cheap to make. So an LV transformer, which is some copper and some cables and a wooden and four wooden planks. Nice and easy. So I'll just spawn one in because hey, why not? And there we have it, a low voltage solar array. Now this thing is eight of these packed into one, so pretty handy. So we, you know we can test it out and sort of uh, maybe break that at start. Get out. Toink toink toink. Oh, and plonk down two of these. And you can see that this goes at a much faster rate, and it's exactly eight times as fast. So there's no real other benefit from this except for the size. But there you have it. So when you want to go up from there, these you can still use um, copper cables for, not a problem. 
that's, uh, that's enjoying himself there. <laughs> so for these you can connect with copper cables as long as the distance is not too far. I would recommend only four spaces uh, in between. If you go anything higher than that you might as well make glass fiber. Because by the time you're going to need the MV solar arrays you're probably going to have glass um, diamonds anyways. Um, so just to show you the glass fiber cables just six glass two redstone and a diamond and that makes four of these so it's quite expensive but it's 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 doable so if we want to go up from there we take our solar array and I'll just need to get a couple more eight again so again in a hollow square and this time we're going to need a medium voltage transformer which is this baby here the MV transformer now you make that with gold cable and insulated gold cable. Now the way you do that is you get some gold cable. Um, well you can do it like that but I guess the easiest way is just having some gold cable and then chucking some extra rubber on it. You can also go one gold cable with some rubber and then another time with rubber. Because the first time it makes insulated gold cable and then with another rubber it makes two times insulated rubber, uh, gold cable. So you need some of that. It's very cheap to make. Um, you're not using your gold for anything else anyways. And a machine block, which is, you know, eight refined iron in a hollow square, easy. So let's uh, let's spawn one in. Boink. So, like we said, eight of the doot 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 doot. Boink, medium voltage solar array. Now with this one, you have to be more careful. You can't use copper cables anymore to connect this to a power source. And you can't use a bat box. The minimum you need to have is an MFE, um, but an MFSU will work as well, of course. Now this one is exactly eight times as fast as that one. That's how easy it is. There's, again, no other benefit to it. It's just faster again. So this one should... It's pretty cool, you know. It, it This will last you a long time with power. Now there's one step up from there, and of course you already, you know, you, you, you probably guessed it. It is the HV, the um, high voltage solar array. Now this thing is almost as powerful as a, as a nuclear reactor and it's incredibly expensive to make. So we need eight of the medium voltage ones. So I think I have eight and an HV transformer. And there's an energy crystal, which is some redstone in a hollow square with a diamond. I'll actually show you. So just some redstone and a diamond in the middle. So easy and a circuit which I've shown you how to make and some four times insulated HV cable. Now this thing is made with refined iron and full rubber then you get some insulated HV cable and then from that you make... can I show you that? Anyways I can show you like this so that makes the first one and if you then add this and another rubber next to it it'll make two times another times it makes and then it makes it four times insulated. Now you need that, and that makes you, oh, what's that, oh, okay, so let's spawn that in, there we go, do I have eight, nope, of course not, but now I do, now with these you have to be careful because they make an incredible amount of power, um, but you need to connect them to an MFSU, or put a transformer in between but chances are like good chances are that you're gonna have it already oh that's output bring down a different one uh, so a high voltage there plonk now did I turn it around I'll turn it around let's make it proper <laughs> there we go yeah so this thing can power pretty much anything that you have um, unless you're gonna have teleporters and stuff then you might need a couple of these but this is crazy power you know um, recyclers uh, and mass fabricators need a lot of power as well but look at that this already is more than this <laughs> so you're gonna need a couple of MFSUs just to keep up um, and that's pretty much how you make an HV. Again, um, you can use glass fiber. So 
That's why I always recommend everyone to make glass fiber cables because it doesn't matter what you upgrade, you can always use glass fiber unless you get an incredibly powerful nuclear reactor. So yeah, that's uh, the sort of the basics with uh, solar arrays. So um, one other thing you do have to keep in mind when you have multiple of them, so say, you know, nine in red power, you can connect them like this and it'll all be into this MFSU, but here you need to actually connect every single power cell with a cable, else it's not going to work. So let's do that for fun, shall we? Let's see how much power goes through this thing. So the middle is not charged, but that's okay. That's okay. Now look at that. This will be almost impossible. Almost impossible to to use up without teleporters and stuff. So yeah, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.